just what I do. That was not great. I have the whole world to the right. The only place I couldn't go is left. Had the whole world to the left? That's my game right there. I don't know. I didn't learn anything. Maybe you didn't either. Sweet. Feel like there's greatness in there. That's the last thing I need. <laughs> and put it on repeat. It's nice and inviting. Big Blue's back here at Laley Resort Golf and Country Club. Uh, we're in Naples, Florida. Uh, it's a big resort. There's actually three golf courses here. And today we're gonna play the Mustang course. I've never played this one in particular. Um, I've played the Flamingo course and it was a nice track. Um, we're here early. You know, my tee time was 719, but no one's here. They said you can go. And uh, I think the clock has not struck seven yet. So I'm. I'm ready to go. Let's go play some good golf. All right, number one is a 531 yard par five. So it should be a good birdie opportunity. This is a good start. Just down the left side a little bit, no fade on it. But I carried the bunker, I believe. I should be in really nice shape. Not bad starting off before 7 a.m. Oh yeah, wonderful. Just off the fairway. Beautiful lie. Great look at this hole. 234 into that green. Good. That's two really good swings to start my day. Definitely take that. Hit that really well, but I mean it just it didn't carry all the way back there. I thought it would. I could at least get 225 out of that, but but it was a little bit uh, on the lower side. Didn't stay in the air as long as I would have liked, but it was right at it, and I think I can put this one just on the front fringe. That's disappointing. The first putt out of the fringe, it bounced so bad, which left it pretty far short. And I uh, thought I hit a good putt there on the second one. All right, let's try and shake it off. Check out number two. All right, number two, I think it's uh, about 430, par four. And it's pretty much straight away. Yeah, another decent drive, just a little bit right, just off the fairway again, but a great lie. And got about 150 yards into this hole. Looks like a back pin. My three iron might have got higher in the air than that pitching wedge. <laughs> but I did cover the bunker in front, so I, I may be putting, we'll see. Oh yeah, got away with one there. Yeah, so we only got about maybe 25 feet up the hill, probably closer to 20. That is a huge birdie, especially after kind of three putting from the fringe on the last hole. Kind of gets the, uh, Gets the emotion back on track. All right, let's check out number three. 
All right, number three, we got a par four. It's kind of dog-legging to the right. I think you got to hit about 280 to clear that bunker on the right. So I'm going to I'm gonna go with the 150 and hopefully just kind of move it to the right a little bit from there. My first one was really bad. Um, it hit the corner of the out of bounds and I just don't know how it kicked. I mean, I would think it would have gotten through, but always wish for things. Okay, we kind of caught a break. Kicked way back. That's the corner I flew into. It was low and hard. Thought it would have gotten through, but it kicked straight back and I got this kind of weird lie. So, better than out of bounds. Now we got 217 yards into this par four from here. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. That was, I have the whole world to the right. The only place I couldn't go is left. Chip in a hybrid and went left into a pond. Ended up getting myself in trouble anyway. That's my game right there, ladies and gentlemen. Feel like there's greatness in there, but <laughs> just turning that break into a double bogey still is just, just what I do at least once, maybe twice around. That keeps my score above par. That's what it does. All right, so we got a medium par four here 411 or so looks like it's moving left i mean that just looks wide open i'm just gonna hit something kind of over those trees all right first fairway of the day officially but yeah we got about 150 that's yeah, pretty right in the middle of the pin, it looks like. A little pitch and wedge. Came up a little short. I really should have hit nine. I was thinking about it. Just chipping a nine instead. All right, got a solid up and down for par. So we got a par three coming up now, directly into the sun, so let's take a look. So we got 166 into the wind to that pin. I tried to go with a little knockdown seven. Been coming up a little short today, unless I hit it thin. So I think I'm a little left of the flag, but I think it was a well-struck shot. Well, sadly, I just was a little bit long and a little bit left, but pretty, pretty easy little shot here. It's the one I think we can chip in.
that felt nice to make. I feel like I started that right of where I wanted to, but it broke in at the last second. You're trying to capture something with the putter, you know? I just, I, I, I always do anyway. I'm trying to, trying to capture some confidence always. And, um, and the best way to do that is by making putts. So. so we got an interesting par four. I'm gonna go with three wood. It, it can't go further than 270, which I should be good. Wow, this is a really difficult driving hole. I mean, this bunker is enormous. I did not clear it. I got 167. Got to clear this waste area. It's to that front pin. So, got to hit a good shot here. Probably hit eight iron. Well, I got out, I got over. It actually wasn't, you know, it was a good strike. I just got real flippy, had too much hook on it. But I did luck out, I, I came up here green side between the bunkers, so. That's too bad. It's all right. Can't expect to make them all, but man, it's close on the edge. Okay, we got a par five, 530 yards. Yeah, so like I said, 530. There's just a lot of bunkers, but it's pretty wide open. The car's been going pretty good. We are right in the middle of the fairway. Great chance here to put it on with a three wood, it looks like. Well, we got a putt for par, but not great. Now, if you're learning anything from this video, it's uh, when to be aggressive, when not. I don't know, I didn't learn anything. Maybe you didn't either. All right, we got 167. Pin appears to be in the back. So I'm gonna go with just a, just a real smooth eight iron. Yeah, I'm way long. I mean, I got an uphill chip at least, but very little green to work with. That was a very big putt. I just it had a lot of break to it, that little five footer. Just made sure I kept the speed up and uh, really needed that par. So we got a par four, it looks like, 430. 
water all along the right so we got to stay left here this thing's going to require a pretty pretty good tee shot let's take a look It wasn't a bad drive, just it's gonna be close. That is such a tight landing area. It's probably only 30 yards wide. Yeah, so no problems here. Looks like we got about 150. Is that flag? All right, we're okay. We got a putt just on the fringe, barely. Probably about 35, 40 feet downhill, right to left. All right, great two putt there to finish the front nine. So overall, I mean, what was that, three over? Um, overall, 39 is really not a bad score with only two greens in regulation. So gotta, gotta hit the ball a little better on the back. All right, so we got 251 to the front from here. And it's a little pond short right. So again, I gotta stay left. You know, the lie's okay, it's just a downhill lie. So it's gonna be tough to hit three wood off of that. That was very well struck, that lie. Just played it safe that time, hit a nice little laser uh, down the left side. Yeah, this is great, I'm just off the green here. Great look for Eagle. I'll take a free drop off of this. Oh, I'll be interested to see the uh, video on that. You all got to see it, but I haven't seen it yet. Playing it on the right edge, and it looked like it actually went right at the end. Yeah, behemoth par four. I mean, pretty wide open. There's just bunker left. Just enough to keep you honest on the right side there. Probably go right at the left edge of those bunkers, or right edge of those bunkers, hopefully back to the fairway. I took a little bit more of a conservative line at the last minute because there is so much fairway to the right. This, this hole's long. You know, if I miss it and I've got 180 in from a fairway bunker, that's the last thing I need. Wow, this hole is long. I mean, I, I have 221 in. <laughs> and do a par four. Oh my word. Yeah, it's a well struck four iron. Kind of trickle just through the green. Now we'll see. Not bad from that distance for sure. Yeah, so just a little bit long. But relatively easy chip shot. Got to keep saving them here.
Well, it's hard to say you gave one away on a 500-yard par four. I don't know. Just a poor chip shot. Four over now. Tough golf course, though. Got a par three we're going to look at now. Looks nice and inviting. I need to bottle that one up and put it on repeat. Just hit that so well. At 171, went with an eight iron, and I think I hit that like 178. But, oh, just struck it so nice right at the flag. It was beautiful. Yeah, par four, not too bad, 411 or so. Slight right to left dog leg. It's more of a meandering. I'm gonna go with that tree straight ahead there. It's like 315 from the tee. And I'm gonna actually try to draw one off of that. Yeah, worked out nice. Good birdie chance here. It's a little pitching wedge. I had a patch and wag. That should be okay. I had, actually I had 155, but the wind was helping a little. I think a solid pitching wedge is good. And we are putting. All right, it's been great. We're finally hitting some greens. You know, it's what we need. Give ourselves some birdie looks. We didn't have any of that on the front nine. And there's a decent putt. Not too good two putt. So let's move along. Par in our way. Wide open out there. It's about 550 from this tee box. So definitely a great birdie chance again. All right, we got 237. I'm gonna hit a I'm just gonna hit a hybrid. Just nice and smooth. See if I can't get my yardage right on that. I picked a great time to chunk it when I had to carry it over water. So I got a drop in the rough here, probably 140 out. To try to get them down for par from here. Ah, oh, this is just so frustrating. I mean, playing these par fives over par every time I play, you, you just can't do that, you know? You know, it's just, you, and I feel confident on these par fives, but I just, now it's become a thing, you know? become a thing and the last thing you want in golf are things good things those are nice things things without the good you don't want those things all right that was a wonderful shot so I'm giving myself a good chance here we'll get up and take a look at it that was a very nice little sawed off pitching wedge from 136. Big par right there. It's about as big a par as, uh, as, uh, as, uh, yeah. Joe Burrow's contract. Maybe not quite. Wow, pretty par four right here. Oh, she came out a little left, but 
I mean, it's fine. Just in the left rough. Oh, actually stayed in the fairway. Holy cow, that's a lot of fairway over here. Sweet. All right, so we got 207. Kind of back into the wind, too. That was no bueno. Little worm burner. I mean, luckily short right was the miss. Should be a relatively easy little pitch. It really was not a tough shot. I just did not hit it hard enough and just, ugh, it's not a tough chip at all. So, and dropping another one. I think I'm five over now. And we are rolling into, what, number 16 now, part three. Okay, let's see what we got. A yeah, very poor shot, as you can see. I went long and left here. Plenty of green to work with. Isn't that difficult, so. Let's try and save par. Wow, you just never know in this game. Nice to make one. Need those. It's not striking it that great. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we made a splash. So we do have some news. Um, I'm out of golf balls, at least the ones I like. I have two golf balls. Should I go with the L TaylorMade Distance? Or should I go with the Titleist, Titleist Truffle? Those are my choices. Two holes left. You know, got to make it work. Got to make it work. All right, so we got about 155 yards. Pins on the right. Got to carry over this tree, which shouldn't be an issue. Pitching wedge or a nine iron. All right, see what we can do. Well, just kind of fumbled around there. Just a horrible chip shot. Making double bogey on number 17 is just not good. So we're going to 18 now. Gosh. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, my seven over now. Jeez, old Pete. Let's try to finish strong. It's a beautiful course, beautiful morning. You know, I'm playing once a week, so I can't. Can't expect much, but definitely hope for better. But we make a birdie here, feel a little bit better about ourselves, heading to the house. Holy cow, folks, I can't believe it. We have a par four that's less than 400 yards. Of course it is into the wind, so it's gonna play about 400.
So we, I'm in fine shape. All right, let's see what we got. Probably about 120, it looks like. Great birdie chance. Very much need one. I'll be good. Should be real nice. My fingers are crossed that that's close. It was right at it. Yeah, that's what we needed. That'll make me feel good. Right there. Let's go clean that up, you say. Man, hey, that's so nice. Maybe I will play those Walmart golf balls. They're not too bad, huh? Then it got the job done. It went the number. It spun nicely. I wonder how close that got, because I know that checked up, spun back a little. All right, what a way to finish. It's very, very nice. Ah, it's funny how a birdie can make you feel good no matter what you shoot sometimes when you clean it up on 18 that way. I mean, it was a tough day. I honestly held, held on to a 39 on the front, you know, missing all those greens. I played much better on the back for a good stretch, but man, I just, what I have, four water balls today, two doubles. Ah, just, uh, just really struggled. But I had some good things too. I mean, as poor as I played, I think I ended up with a 78. And you know, playing this course from 7,250 yards, it's a uh, it's a long golf course. You know, never seen it before. I think the course rating is like 75. So I'm a one handicap. So I mean, 76, 77 probably with the slope is probably you know my handicap, 76 or 77. So I shot 78. So I hung in there pretty good. Not too bad. So, hope you enjoyed. Lely Golf and Country Club. Nice resort here in Naples, Florida. Got three golf courses, one of them private. So, check one of them off the list. Maybe we'll try the other one next week. Do another video for you. Remember, like and subscribe. Big Blue. Catch you next time.